Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? I wanna let you know that a little while ago I sent out my forecast for tomorrow's jobs number, uh, the non-farm payroll number that which uh, everybody looks at, that's the big number every month. It uh, has the potential to be pretty market moving, we could say. Uh, the consensus is anywhere from zero payrolls to 140,000. Uh, as you know, yesterday the ADP payroll number came in at 135,000. That was a little bit above the forecast of 125,000. So I break it down. And if you've been following me, you know, I've been the closest of anyone on all these uh, last months, okay? Even when the number was way outside of the consensus, my number was there. I have a very specific and unique way of doing the analysis on this, and I think you will find that the number that I sent out, in other words, my forecast, uh, is a little bit eye-opening, you might say. If you want to get that email, if you are not an MMT Trader subscriber or a Zombie Trading subscriber, just go to my website, Pitbull Economics, and sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader or a 30-day free trial of Zombie Trading. Zombie Trading, of course, is the daily Forex signal service. We front run the zombies and get out before they die. So that's uh, the news on that. Now, I just posted up an article that I wrote on my blog on Mike Norman Economics. So you can go there. It's MikeNormanEconomics.blogspot.com or just Google Mike Norman Economics. I, I wrote up something on Kevin Warsh. You know, I've been talking about Kevin Warsh and he is now the front runner to succeed Janet Yellen, whose term is up next February, okay, and war, she's got connections to Trump, uh, he married the daughter of Ronald Lauder, Ronald Lauder is a billionaire, and he's uh, from uh, Estee Lauder family, the big cosmetics firm, and Trump is a friend of Ronald Lauder here in New York City, and, and this Warsh guy, he married Lauder's daughter, so he is the front runner, he met with Trump, I believe, last week, and if you look at the these betting sites, he is, you know, on top of the list as the guy who's going to succeed Janet Yellen. Now, I've, I made a video, several videos in the past talking about this guy. This guy was spectacularly wrong back in 2008 and 2009 when the Fed was in uh, conducting all of its extraordinary monetary operations, you know, quantitative easing and zero percent interest. He predicted hyperinflation. It was almost like he was reading out of the script of Peter Schiff or one of those nut jobs. Anyway, Warsh wrote an article for the Wall Street Journal. I didn't know this. I came across it in another website. And uh, I posted up the link in my blog. And I also uh, took out some little excerpts from that article and I made some comments and it's quite eye-opening because in, in many of his comments and uh, observations, he really doesn't un seem to understand the role of the Fed or the power of the Fed in terms of its uh, monopolist power, in terms of its price-setting ability. I'll give you one example, but you should go read the article in my blog. One example is he says, and he's critical here, he says the Fed tries to fix interest rates, he says that, and, and uh, manipulate um, the exchange value of the dollar, which is impossible to do with the free flow of capital. So, he said again, it's like, so basically by saying that he thinks the market sets rates, he says this crazy term, the free flow of capital, which I'm not even sure what he means by that. You know, that, that's almost a, a, uh, a non-concept. Uh, what kind of capital are you talking about? I mean, physical capital pretty much flows freely, but financial capital, currency, stays in one place. It doesn't flow, okay? 
Anyway, the Fed has total and complete power as a monopolist to set rates. It has nothing to do with this so-called free flow of capital. All the Fed has to do is set a rate and say, that's it. That's permanent. Let's say the Fed said, okay, that we're going to put the Fed funds rate at zero permanently. Well, guess what would happen? All rates along the term structure would converge to zero. Period. That's it. Wouldn't have to do anything more. Same thing with exchange rates. The Fed could buy foreign currency. That's just another form of QE, right? Instead of buying treasuries, it could buy Japanese yen or British pounds or euro and just credit bank accounts with dollars and the dollar would be going down and whatever currency they would be buying would be going up just like treasuries go up and reserve and interest rates go down when the Fed buys uh, government securities, right? Or vice versa, the Fed could put on um, very, very high negative interest rates, which is a form of a, it would be like an onerous tax that would make the dollar stronger. So he doesn't understand that. But anyway, you should go read the art. By the way, my people, MMT trader people, if this guy becomes the Fed chairman, we are going to make so much money. We are going to make so much money. The problem with Yellen is like she, uh, really follows the markets she won't do anything for example with interest rates the fed now under yellen's uh leadership they won't do anything unless the fed fund futures are saying they should do it it's ridiculous and that's you know wishy-washy i mean one day uh market participants might price futures one way the other day they might price it another day based on some data which is lagging you know it's ridiculous but this guy he's got ideas all right but you should go read my uh, my post and my blog because there's a lot of other things he said. He actually says some, so he points out some good things, but he doesn't have any um, solutions. Like he he observes that there are things wrong with what the Fed is doing, and there are three things wrong with the economics profession. He calls it the economics guild. He also mentions errors in fiscal policy, but he doesn't have any solutions he doesn't have any answers or or any of his own thoughts at least not expressed in that article as to what he would change go read it everybody and don't forget to get my email go to pitbulleconomics.com and sign up for either a 30-day free trial of mmt trader or zombie trading and i will get i will send you my email with the forecast for tomorrow's jobs number i'm always right on this i'm always the closest one you need to know this because it's gonna i tell you which way the market's gonna move see you later bye bye